it's good it's the OG here bringing you something different this time we're gonna be playing something different I already said that I'm saying it again sue me I dare you do it now anyway we're gonna be playing some DC Universe online it is a pretty balling game if I do say so myself I personally like it I bought a membership for it for like three months I think and it was quote unquote by accident but I don't know, I, I personally really like the game. We're gonna choose Superman because he is the quickest, or so I am told, and we're gonna choose, um, let's go with Rage. Nope, I took it back, Atomic. And, uh, yeah, so we're gonna be playing this game this time, and just generally enjoying it, seeing how it works. You know, I plan on doing all the way up to level 100 cap, whatever the level cap is, so I'll keep you posted. Um, but I will be doing a full walkthrough of like the main story mode, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, from levels z 1 to 30, I will be doing that, and later on, I'll at least make sure to do the first four raids. So I'll make sure to do at least that. Um, for the power, we're gonna choose, uh, not shield, cause shield is way too good. Um, rifle, no, bro, no, bro. Dog pistol, sure. And um, yeah, so I'll catch you guys later after I fiddle with the costume a little bit, and then we're gonna see you guys. All right, all right. Thank you. Bye. Not really though. All right, we're back. Um, I'm done with my character. This is how it's gonna look for now. Uh, some of my more favorite styles come on later on in the game, but this is how it's gonna look for now. So hey, looks pretty cool, right? All right. So we're just gonna create a this, and we're gonna uh, you're gonna we're gonna name this the OG because I'm pretty sure nobody has theirs as the OG. And bam, I'm gonna skip this movie because we, I mean, if you played the game before, you already knows what happens in the movie. It's all like oh yada yada yada, Earth, bam, ha, kills death. Uh, mm. so as we wait here at this. <laughs> Beautiful just d beautiful picture of scarecrow. We're just gonna uh, talk. I'm gonna give you a rundown on how the game actually works The game is uh, okay. Don't kill me if I get this wrong. It's an MMORPG and It was produced this of course produced by DC Universe un by DC and is Good and all the things are <laughs> And all the things are done by Daybreak Games. Daybreak is a pretty cool company. Hey Oracle, how you doing, baby? You doing good? And um, yeah. So that that's just a basic rundown on how the game is. But um, I don't. I'll. I guess I'll. I'll do this level real quick, but I'll make it quick for you guys so you don't have to watch the whole thing in real time. Okay. Okay. Alright, so here is where you get your first power. Um, I'm a, I'm actually going to be a tank in this let's play because I found I found out that tanking with atomic is really good actually. So yeah, I'm gonna be a tank doing this let's play, but you can also you can also be a a you can be damage damage damage. Every role can be a damage, but I'm gonna be a tank with atomic. And yeah, so. I guess back to the fast forwarding.
All right, now we're back. After Oracle gets done talking now, let's take some more stuff, okay? After she gets done talking. How about I show you around? The safe houses are where you'll find contacts for missions, mailboxes, vendors, and the teleporter to the Justice League Watchtower. Really? Hey, all right, so we're back. Um, that was the first level in a in a in a nutshell. Um, it, it's really easy because you know it's the first level, so it's like super easy. You could just fly right through it. Don't have to worry about even dying because, as you see, I just took on the boss in front of his face and took like no damage whatsoever like a very small amount of damage but it's really easy to get through and you can just do that real quick and then you end up here in the safe house where you get all well most if not all of your missions i know for wonder woman there's one that you get in the watchtower and there's one that i think that's i think that's for all the mentors like your final missions you get them in the watchtower so yep this is a safe house we start out here um, currently, you see those people with the, the, the name under their, like, the name in parentheses and all that stuff. That's the league. I'm currently not in the league because, you know, I just created this character. But if any of you guys want to, you know, maybe try and invite me to a league, that'd be cool. Hey, look, it's Mad Super. Mad Super, that guy is, the, he, he, he's going to get you. He, he's, he's, I've seen him sell, like, an OG Nimbus aura for, somewhere around like if i remember it was about 150 mil so he sells expensive things but who knows it might be worth it anyway we're gonna head up here oracle's gonna cut oracle is going to tell us some stuff where you go to repair any damaged equipment or sell any items you don't need some of the vendors sell unique items and as soon as you have enough for now you can purchase those as well hey oracle again no, oh, Oracle has nothing to say. Now, oh, that I spoke too soon. Of course, plus the watchtower teleporter, your PVP and alert holograms. Go ahead, check your mail. I sent you something. Then find mm. Protostar Blakely. He has a message for you from Superman. Okay, so we'll be going. We get to speak to Protostar Blakely, and then we're gonna get a little uh, something from Superman. Queensland Boardwalk. His this army is, is devolving humans to apes. How you dealt with Using Brainiac. some kind of tech even Star Labs hasn't seen before. We've got to get in there with the and Brainiac stop attacks, them before they overtake we Metropolis. The Gorilla Grodd's army is attacking and devolving humans into apes. We've got to stop them before they overtake Metropolis. Okay, okay, Daddy. I mean, Superman. So, as we, uh... So, let me give you some rundown about this uh, Gorilla Grodd specimen. Gorilla Grodd is an ape. <laughs> Who thinks he's better than humans? He's one of the Flash's rogues, I believe, and uh, yeah, he's he's been like one of the Flash's main villains, you know, along with Zoom, uh, Captain Cold, and Captain Cold and the Rogues, you know, those people, and uh, some more people. But I'm pretty sure most of the most of the a lot of people show up in this game. So I'll have I'll do my best to try and explain you to them as I know them, as they pop up. Like, I'm not really good on my Wonder Woman, but, you know, Chris, me on my Batman and Flash, I could, I could give you a good rundown. So, you start off with this beach level, which is actually, like, super easy, because, you know, it's the beginning. And they always start you off with, like, the easy things, so. So, you can just get used to the game, you know, get a good feel for it. And, honestly, with my power, I shouldn't be sitting here doing all this. I should just yeah I can I can just simply I can actually kind of teleport around with this power oh you're too far away come here anyone else ooh nope 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 oh also one more thing little bohemia which is where I am right now is is commonly known as like the most populated safe house you have a lot of people around here and if you need help you know just Apes, don't feel, don't feel like rule. scared to ask. Bad so um, every time you level up, you get something new, and this time I got, I got a new power, and because so I had enough fee points, I also got a new skill. I help. got the. Find them near spots in the city. I'll tell you after orders. I'll tell one. you after Oracle stops talking. 
So, I have this skill. It's a pretty good skill, and when you put it with some other skills, it also gives you some power back. But, these, these things are side, re side quests. You don't exactly have to do them, but they're really helpful to come back after you finish the game and do, because they give you some marks of victory, which will help you buy the gear. And especially in the later stages of the game, you're going to need help buying gear. Alright, alright. So, but for now, we're just going to continue on throughout the story, and not focus on... We're not going to focus on all the side stuff. So, um, also, I didn't tell you about this fun thing. I have voice chat disabled right now, but later on in the game, if you have a mic, like I do, obviously, you can, um, you can, like, record, you can, not record, you can join these things called voice, <coughs> voice rooms. Much like how there's different chat things, you can join a voice room, voice chat room. That's what it's called. And you get, and from there you could, you could, you can, you can like actually talk to people. So if you run into anybody that has a mic, like I know a couple of people, or like when I first started, it was people that was talking. Yeah, I was in a voice room for my other character. And uh, yeah, so. so I, Anybody has access to these rooms, they're not private or anything like that. Because of whatever reason. I don't know why DC doesn't make them private. The only private one that you really have is your league. And once somebody joins your league, they have access to that all the time. But only on that. But only on that one. So, you know, just watch out for that. It helps having somebody as backup. Oh, um, trust me. Oh, right. These green things these things are investigations you're gonna need these things to just get some feats and stuff but they really do help just had to see the video quick real quick um so as this quest as this quest goes on this one takes a little bit because of all the things that you had to do you have to kill like 95 people and i'm like uh Nobody really feels like that, but that's also part of the reason why I chose Dolph Pistols, because Dolph Pistols is actually really good for, like, attacking a lot of people at once. Like, I can just go up in this crowd, and I can just, oh yeah, and I can just straight up, like, just hit him, and I have to worry about it. And let me just say this one thing, just a quick disclaimer. This game is strictly online. So if you think that you can't, you cannot, and let me repeat that, you cannot access this offline. So before you go on thinking that, yeah, you can play this whenever you want, no, you need internet access and everything like that. I'll catch you guys in the later after I finish this quest and I'll show you about the next quest.